Shalom, shalom, brothers and sisters in Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He is the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the ending, who was and is and is to come. That's according to Isaiah 9, verse 6, Micah 5, verse 2, Revelations 1, John chapter 1, and Colossians chapter 1. They all speak of Yeshua Jesus as God Almighty, as God in the flesh. Amen. I believe the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the three, are one, according to John 14 and 1 John 5, verse 7, in the King James Bible. Amen. I believe that God was manifested in the flesh, 2 Corinthians 5, 19. He lived a perfect and sinless life as the Lamb of God, Isaiah 53. And he gave himself as a sacrifice to pay for our sins, according to Colossians chapter 2. And if you wish to be saved, you must repent and believe in him and follow his commandments, according to the New Testament Bible. Amen. Well, brothers and sisters, I am uh, quite frustrated today. I've been dealing with uh, a lot of noise issues uh, in my room, which is also my, <laughs> my studio recording and my office, and sometimes my kitchen. <laughs> and uh, I have these really thin old windows. They're only single paned. It's very super thin. And the trim for each plate of glass isn't like properly uh, like connected to the window so there's a bunch of gaps and stuff so I could literally hear everything that goes on outside my my apartment uh, bedroom and uh, so I've been having issues trying to record videos and stuff from home uh, and it's been pretty hot out uh, this past week and it's it's like a hundred degrees today and so I wanted to do a video uh, recording at home and uh, there's just so much noise uh, there's these kids every time I tried to do a recording these uh, kids were screaming and playing like really screaming uh, right outside my window and so I, I tried a couple things I tried to put a, a very thick moving blanket over my window to try to block some of the sound uh, and I tried curtains and stuff as well, but none of that really blocks the noise. And so uh, I just decided uh, to not record my video because I, I couldn't even really hear myself think. And uh, this isn't just a one-time issue. Okay, these uh, kids go outside and play. I, I think they're on uh, summer vacation. They play outside my window. Uh, all day long and also there's a pool as well and there's a ton of noise that they make at the pool area outside in the little courtyard near my window and so it's been very difficult to get any sort of peace and quiet uh, to, to record videos and so that's why I'm out here walking uh, today and, and recording this video in this little nearby trail and I looked at Amazon and they have some insulation foam that I'm gonna try to use if I could find the money. We currently don't have money to purchase it at the moment, but I found some stuff on Amazon. It's 16 inches and it's a 50 foot roll and I'll be able to line the window twice. So there'll be two uh, thick layers of insulation foam that would help block out some of that sound to help me record better. If anybody would feel uh, interested or, or feel led to uh, send a no donation if you would like to, you can um, to help me get that insulated and maybe try to block out some of that sound uh, to help me record. In, in the past, I, I used to try to do my videos later at night, around midnight, but there's also uh, loud noises as well 
sometimes at night too so and that throws off my my sleeping schedule and then I'm not able to help my mom with anything uh, during the daytime and it becomes an issue as well so if uh, anyone would like to help me purchase that uh, foam insulation it's about forty dollars and uh, I'll update this video uh, in the title and, and let you guys know as soon as I receive the the funds uh, necessary for the insulation for the window and so uh, you know I'm not I know it's hard times for a lot of us but if anyone feels led to I pray that you know God would direct this matter amen and uh, you know even sometimes uh, all of these children and, and I think uh, teenagers sometimes as well they would uh, gather outside my apartment and make noise even up till 9 10 uh, 10 p.m. at night so this is an ongoing issue and uh, I'm really just frustrated at this point um, but uh, I'll just leave it there and uh, as far as uh, current stuff that's going on I think they're about to roll out the, the next pandemic. I think it is the bird flu. And I think the World Health Organization is ready to start, uh, you know, making, making it very difficult for anyone to talk against uh, their jabs on social media and uh, different platforms. And so I think the clampdown is about to begin. I think pandemic two is about to begin. And I think it could be deadly. I just did a decode of a video that's not going to fly on YouTube. <laughs> okay, it'll get... As soon as I post those things, I get a YouTube strike. And so, community guideline strike. So, I post these things up at uh, BitChute and Rumble. The channel name is Trumpet for Yahweh. That's one word. And that's uh, the, the channel name at Rumble and BitChute. If you want to check out this uh, bird flu decode I just did concerning a KFC commercial that was just uh, that just premiered this month, June 2024. And so I posted the bird flu decode uh, yesterday. Uh, I think it was the June. I think it was June 23rd, 2024, on my Rumble and Bit shoot. So please check that out if you feel led to. Again, this stuff cannot fly on YouTube. They'll take me down as soon as I put it up. Okay, I've already lost like 11 channels on YouTube for posting information. And uh, it also seems like uh, China is about to go to war with Taiwan. And uh, the tensions between Russia and NATO just keep increasing by the day as uh, the U.S. and other NATO members keep sending uh, missiles and, and weapon, uh, weaponry over to Ukraine. And uh, so Putin sees this as an act of war. And we, of course, know that the nuclear submarines were just sent to Cuba as a, as a warning to America. And so these things, I believe, are just going to keep escalating until this sudden destruction comes. Okay, I believe we're basically already in World War III, but it's sort of like a Cold War type thing. But very soon, I think it's about to become a hot war, a nuclear war, and uh, it's going to take a lot of people by surprise, I believe, and, and that's what the Bible says. Uh, you know, it'll be like a thief in the night. Sudden destruction will come, just like it came to uh, Sodom and Gomorrah in the days of Lot. Amen. But uh, we are not in darkness who follow Christ, and we see that day is, is approaching. And, and this could begin at any moment. And there's a, a million other things that are about to transpire as well in terms of the Great Reset and the collapse of this current world system to bring in the new world order and the rise of the Antichrist, the one world leader of Revelation 13. So that's uh, really all I wanted to talk about today. I was going to try to do a lengthy decode uh, for the Avengers movie, Avengers uh, Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. 
and uh, talk about how that is predictive planning for the rapture of the church when Thanos snaps his finger and, and half the people disappear. That's just like Jesus said, you know, two will be in the field, one will be taken and the other left. And then there's the uh, Battle of Armageddon in Avengers Endgame where basically Thanos represents Christ, the destroyer of worlds, who uh, is going to take on the Antichrist and all the kings of the earth. And so in this case, the Avengers, the superheroes, are like the kings of the earth and the Antichrist New World Order who will take on Christ at his second coming. So if I get any quiet time, I'm going to try to record those decodes as well. So please keep me in prayer. Um, just trying to get the word out that you know time is very, very short. And I believe the rapture is coming for those who are ready, the wise virgins. But those who are unwise will be left behind and the door will be shut. And sudden destruction will come and the Antichrist false savior will rise and enslave the masses. Anyhow, please give your life to Jesus if you haven't already. And I hope to see you all in heaven very soon. And shalom. Until next time. Amen. Okay, so here's my uh, window seal, and uh, here's my desk area where I record videos. And uh, if you look at this window here, it's uh, very thin. I don't know if you can see just how thin it is. It's uh, just a very thin plate of glass, and it's hard to see, but uh, there's like gaps around the window seal where it connects into the middle frame. And so it's like, it's like there's not even a window here and I could hear everything that people are saying um, outside. And so I have this really flimsy old window with this uh, wire, with this metal framing and uh, it doesn't have proper insulation. It doesn't have proper soundproofing. And I, again, if someone walks by my window, I could hear every single thing they're saying and all of the kids that hang out and play right here there's like this little grassy area all the kids play uh, around this area and make tons of noise and it's it's really impossible for me to record and so my my only other option is to just i, I guess just uh do videos in the middle of the night when no one's making noise